You are now tuned into 2111 Radio Show, hosted by our program director, Derek Scott. something to eat. What up? You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Welcome to the 21 Level Radio Show. We have the technical difficulties and this is our first show back. So I'm glad to be back. But look who I got in the building, my man, Big V. What up, brother? Oh, man. Just, just, just keeping on keeping on. How you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm so happy to have you here. Been a fan for years. So I already know a little bit of the background, but I want our audience to really get in tune to who this man is and the, the great things that he's been doing over the years after the natural roots and what he continue to do. So first, this is what I want to know. Where are you originally from? Bowling Green, Kentucky. COVID City, Greater Nashville. Ooh. You know, uh, mm. 60 miles outside Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to ask you a question before we get into a lot. But so how did the Nappy Roots get started? How did you guys meet? Is y'all cousins and family, anything like that, or just friends? A bunch of cats that decided to take the next step by leaving their parents' roof. Everybody was in college at Western oh. Kentucky University. That was in my small town in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Oh, okay. and we we started out house party, rapping as 20-year-olds do. They fell in love with hip-hop on the course. And it was just everybody left their town at their high school seeking the next step and mm. uh so you know just collective of of guys who wanted to do that and fish girls yeah. playing basketball for the hilltoppers was around a guy named kareem abdul jabbar oh wow. and, uh, okay yeah they were playing small and, and playing uh in my small town Somehow the music right. got to LA. And and wow. back then they were, they were signing in ninety eight it was potential uh developmental deal. No doubt. So, I remember those things. Yeah, so us being from Kentucky, it was like muddy waters, you know, if you watch Cadillac Records, it was mm -hmm. anything anything to get out of here, you know. We didn't have no a doubt. radio location and and whatever. So we started going to Atlanta and the Chitlin Circuit Tours and out there with Eight Ball MJG and Lil John and Trick Daddy and mm. you know, back in the early days with Mississippi Firewater Boys, David Banner, you know, 
crooked letter camp, Ooh. you know, and just going to the vibe tours and DC, and Howard Homecomings, and 2000, mm. Happy Root. <laughs> oh, no, hell no, boy. And brought the church organs. Yeah, listen. And then yeah. that, 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 makes that famous recipe to the game of no doubt real good music you know and became the authors of reality rap and kings of barbecue music later and uh, yeah so that's how it started man and then going platinum your first time out yeah and then tell you something that's what yeah Yeah, introduced you to jazzy Faye, anthony hamilton on the same album and so exactly. now it's time for another breath of fresh air, brother. Yeah, it is. Exactly. Exactly. So you said platinum. Now, when I fr- I actually had this record and lost it, I actually had it when it first came out, and I lost it in a fire. This oh. one, this album, right? Well, I'm in a chicken. I had it. Common denominator. Ooh, Lord, let me tell you something. Common denominator. Let me tell you, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. So when we heard, yeah, (laughs) yeah, definitely, definitely. So when we heard you guys, I was already into music, but you guys brought another flavor to this whole thing we call hip hop. Y'all wasn't like nobody. And and to what? Yeah, what I noticed about you, you stood out like a damn sore thumb because everybody was like, "Yo, who this big V guy?" Well, that's what Andre Harrell was saying when I met him. Mm-hmm. And he was like, who wrote this? Who, who, <laughs> who, who y'all know? And we had Monster Jam, the first album, you know. And we okay, both, yeah. And we there with Bad Boy Family and we there with Rockefeller Family. Okay. And Beyonce and them, Destiny Shot being from, from um, Houston or whatnot. So the country was, you know, we was in the building and Andre was like, how did y'all, how did y'all get here mm-hmm. and without a producer and, and no you. big brother and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, yeah. and, I was, and, and then, you know, I became developed on the road. When we got there, we didn't know how to do business. We didn't know what to sign Anthony Hamilton. I met Anthony Hamilton the mm. day of the video shoot at Pope Folks. Wow, that's crazy. So, yeah, so, so we wasn't that was like that. Fly. Yeah, Ooh. we wasn't we wasn't no East Coast raised like y'all. We didn't know to get business for money and, yeah. and do this here. And Jermaine Dupree was already ready to do business. And mm-hmm. we had came into Black America and through the South with men that had identity. I think Thank we you. happy roots. We knew who we were and we know who we are and we're not angry black men. Thank we you. Were, you know, so did we got we learned the lessons, I think, that way. Well, at least I did. Of and, course. Uh, so those those were bought lessons, and then the second album. Napster came out and we were downloaded 11 million times illegally. Oh, Lord. So I look like a cat short $80 million, right? So, <laughs> so, yeah. so now, but, but the great data was 11 million people wanted to hear. Exactly. So I created this QR code where you okay. scan with your phone, right? But I put it on cannabis products. Oh, wow. Such as gummy bears and yeah and, and, and that see so on a small scale twenty dollars from five thousand people a hundred rep right? and this that's internet easy. makes the world real small right <laughs> yes it does right. mm. damn right. that was small so now, so now I'm back with that I own my own dispensary mm. and uh, so now I'm just put out strands. As my music, my new music is a hundred and a half. Yeah. Four, 14 grams on the scale. And, uh, and I'm only going to tour in legal states. And New York's one of them, right? I know that. That's right. DC's That's- one of them. I'm coming to the East Coast. 
Okay, all right. All right. And I, I want that food at the bodega and the 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 and so when y'all first came out, when you guys first came out, we thought you guys was the next in line because a group somewhat similar to you guys was out. I think it was called Arrested Development. Oh, yeah. It was talk, you know, so when I, we seen them, then y'all came along. Y'all y'all was more lyrical. Well, you was more yeah. lyrical than them, but it was kind of you guys had this message about real life. You understand? Oh, yeah. they, they don't have that no more. So it, it was a breath of fresh air when you guys came out because not only was you guys lyrical, but you guys was actually talking about something. Well, it's still that now to the 10th power. I know that's right. And, and now that hip hop got gray hair. Don't and, they? <laughs> you know, so I, I feel like right now is the perfect time to reintroduce myself. I left the group. In yeah. uh, 2012, to raise kids, old old lady dropped the kids off at mama's and never looked back. Ooh, I know that's right. <laughs> so yeah, I love the group, <laughs> and it's been 12 years and got everybody graduated, and baptized, and professional wow. people. My youngest son plays for Deion Sanders in Colorado. Oh, my same baby work. girls, yeah, go to Northern so and I I produce some pretty good people, and uh, yes, you did. Uh, so uh, that's what's going on with me, and now I'm back. You know, starting back know, in the right. so, Go ahead. Yes, you are. So listen, let me give you a round of applause first. Let me tell you. The reason I gave the round of applause because you took it upon yourself to take care of your kids and for them to get their lives together in order before you can start doing what you're doing. Now you done put your baby about to go to college right now. So it's time to bring Big V back in a big way. So that's that's a beautiful thing as a father. They don't give us enough credit when credit is due, no. bro. And the one thing I appreciate you is being a father, a real father that's out there doing what he's supposed to do for his family. Oh man, if a man with no future that silent. So, so knowing that is mm. yes. Yeah. Where you at? Where you at? Your dispensary now? Yeah, I'm in my dispensary. I have a studio in the back. And so I just walked oh, okay. in there. Okay. I'm getting ready for a listening party in Nashville, Tennessee tomorrow. And uh, on the 13th, yeah. Got all the tastemakers coming out. We're gonna have a good good time down the road. Everybody come out, let me, you mm -hmm. know, let people hear my new thing. We're gonna burn and smoke and and get to the, you know. That's right there, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. We go, yeah, definitely. The devil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you, you out there doing your thing. So I'm going to ask you a question. This question is that when you left, do you feel you left Nappy Roots too late? You should have left a couple of years earlier? Fuck yeah. I didn't know you were supposed <laughs> to not go. I, you know, I come from a school like Jordan, them, you know, Charles Barkley, them, and stay there the stay yeah, too long in Philly. And, you know, <laughs> shit. I didn't know I was supposed to do what Jesus done. You was short Yo, anyway, and they'll bring a stack. And, yeah, uh, man. He dropped one we, verse with Boys in the Hood and we're gone. I, I, I didn't know that what you were supposed to do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We thought you was going to go solo a long time ago, brother. You got man, some Kansas fans. Seattle taught me that. They were like, man, what you waiting on? And now I was like, what you waiting on? I was like, I ain't never been a record deal in Kentucky. <laughs> you watch Django when he rode out and all the niggas was still in that wagon. Still in the when, wagon. Exactly. Yeah, it was like that. Yep. Yeah, Yo, let me tell you something. You know, but that goes with how loyal you was at the time because at the end of the day, you could have been left. You was writing all those hits. Yes, sir. You writing all the hits. 
Every yes, hit they sir. had, Big V wrote that. Yes, yes, sir. I need to know that. You understand? And the thing I like about you, you're so charismatic with the hair. Look, he ain't got the hair now. But oh, no. if y'all see the video, y'all yeah. know Big V had the so, oh, still that hair no was incredible. The strip was in my hair. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> but, but, but I know yeah, that's right. Man. Let me tell you something. Yeah. So, you, Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you basically, like I said, you carried them in a way where you didn't kind of showboat it. You actually was a team player at the time. LeBron? And you feel LeBron that? Kind of I felt that. That after that, after that, um, you should have did the LeBron and took your your, your talents to Dallas another city. Or because man, Big v, man. yeah, because Big V and Mo, people still talking about you from back then. I'm telling you, oh man, I, I think the when new I got news. the chance to get you, yeah, when I got the chance to get you on this show, we was all talking about where's Big V. So I'm looking on the internet. I said, wait a minute. This man ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. You out there doing your thing. You out there doing Penn, your thing. Penn still dangerous, man. Forced underground, um, and found a better way to sell it yes, and actually did. be a better businessman. Now, yes, you are. yeah. Now it's like okay, if I go back to the city and meet some New York boys, and we can talk the real numbers and really do a JV kind of situation on a big level, I yeah, will make. Yeah, I would maybe be interested in that. But now, you know, it's like, wow. Knowing now that, you know, and then got that 11 million fan base to go Ooh. back and get that thing and still playing Good Day on all the good music. And yeah. my boys held it down for a while while I was yeah. gone. It's been a decade. Yeah. Shout out to the Nappy Roots. It's just David Ruff or Eddie Kane is back. Zing. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yo, that's a good that's a good <laughs> analogy. You are Eddie Kane of the Roots. I'm sorry, it's oh the truth. man, oh well, that's Eddie Kane. But I, man, I, like I say, man, I, I like I can't wait to get back into those channels with great arts because music needs a whole lot of things it's suffering from right now, and just to give it that breath of fresh yeah, air. No doubt get around new producers and create it like to run into guys like Dazzy and Anthony on the way and to actually go to yeah, the man. first exactly. battle when he did that with music. I thought y'all was going to battle, yeah. I thought y'all was going to battle Arrested Development. I think that would have been a dope ass um, battle. Energy. I'm sorry. That, that energy would have like been crazy. Roots. I like to see Nappy Roots. And out that's right. Ooh, damn. You going for the juggler. No, I'm talking about, you know, of a night of right there. Uh, that would be crazy. Uh, that would be crazy. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I, but a that whole lot of verses, man. Yeah. yeah. I missed that show. I missed that. So I was I'm trying to take that Jim Jones bet though. <laughs> for that hundred oh. race. Oh, you should have did that. Oh, you should have did that. Oh, you should have. I pushed the envelope. What? We didn't get no response. He turned it down. I, he ain't gonna get no response. My team pushed the envelope, and we no didn't God. get no response. Nah, he ain't gonna, nah, he ain't gonna do it. He know, cause he know. <laughs> you know who you want to. You know who you want to pick fights with. You know who you want to pick fights with, bro. He don't want that smoke. He don't want that smoke. We push. We push that envelope. Want. But, but, I bet but, you did. Um, but I tell you what, man, this this new music we got, my new single right now, like plugs don't take pictures, and I'm gonna shoot my jumper if I miss rebound, block out and rebound. Mm. Like, like, I don't get mad, I get money. I mean, man, I we, we got a bar cover. Let me tell you, this I got get money up here, I got the video. Uh oh, I actually have the video get money. Uh oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's hard. Yes, Lord. That's hard, bro. That, that video is hard. The song, yo. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and look.
look at this video. Check check out my man Big V, y'all. This video about to come up, and we're gonna come back live and talk about this song. All right, it's called Get Money. Check this out, y'all. Go, 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 go,
all on me. It's like a weekend. Yeah, you know, it's football season. You know how your lady take a lot rushing with the kids and uh-huh. cooking food, and then really want to, you know, all that. Other shit. This baby, this weekend's all on me. I got a babysitter. Yeah. I'm gonna mm-hmm. see you in the spa. I'm on. Yeah, we going Yeah, let's let's, let's make it about six hundred dollars. Let me tell you something. I did this. I played this song, and I told I, she listened to this, and I was like, you know, I had to play. Yo, it's all on me. I got you. It's all, on, it. it's all on me. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get into this song. But listen to the lyrics, bro. You killed this verse. I'm sorry. You killed this verse. This verse is sick, brother. I'm not even gonna it. Yeah. So check this out. All on me. On twenty one eleven radio exclusively. Check. Wherever you like, you can do what you want to do. Go anywhere you want. You can have what you want to have. Get anything you want. We can do what you want to do. Go anywhere you want. A big event, house and silver spoon, silver spoon. Put my astronaut suit on and go get you the moon. You the Run moon. you a bubble bath, bubble snuggle bath. and make you land. Uh-huh. Love the dimples in your cheek when you smile and land. <laughs> May I have your autograph? Your diabetes sweet, like a rose with no thorn. Beautiful, you need. How about a shopping spree? Shopping everything spree. for free, everything. and everything you see, courtesy of me. By the way, the name is me. You know my resume. resume. Oh no, hell no. Look like a good day. For me to get to know you and have a chance to show you, and if I get to know you, you'll be loving what I show you. Or we can cruise and take a flight on a private jet. If we choose, we play fight and watch the sunset. Picnic on the line. You having fun yet? Cause it's only just begun. I ain't done yet. That barbecue music right there, man. Put the sun kissed on ice. Yeah. Uh, if you're on the East Coast, I'm sure you're going to go to Ray's and get you a slice, <laughs> yo. Or uh, whatever you're going to get, yep. you know. That was, know. That's hot. When I first heard that, I was like, damn, that's fire right there. That's fire. Right. I'm sorry. I, I'm the program director at 21 Leverage and the host. So when I get music, I have to feel it. Big I, pimping. I have to feel Big it. Big pimping. And I felt both of those songs. I felt both of those songs. Yes, sir. Felt both of those songs. I'm telling you, you got you got some stuff coming out. And you know, we want to add one more song. So tell your tell your um PR people, please send us one more song, because all we can do, as far as in legally, yeah, legally, is we can only have like three songs for the same artist. So I need what? one more song to go around. Yeah, what? one more. One more. I need. Definitely one more for real because I, damn. Playing those records, I would, I would like to everybody to move their coffee table. And, yeah, I heard. And then let's see, let's see one more record. Um, one more. right now I, I got a new video record. shot in St. Louis. Plugs don't take pictures. I love that song. I saw the video on your page. I saw that. Yeah. That's hot. Plugs don't take no. They don't. Yeah, plugs don't take pictures. They don't take pictures. And, they don't. Uh, right now, this is a photo opportunity, being that I was taking one. Yeah. It was it was just weird coming out of my shop, and and a fan walked mm-hmm. up, and I, I wasn't in that capacity. And uh, no doubt, V, can I get a picture with you? plugs? Don't take. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right now, this is a photo. Of, you know, so it, it was in the middle of the day. Okay. And it, and I just was like, man, you know what? Plugs don't take pictures. Pictures, they don't take pictures. Yeah, plugs don't take pictures. So and now, yeah. now I'm gonna ask you a question. If you knew back then what you know now, how would it change everything? How would you feel you it would change if you knew back I then? Know what you what know, I know now. Yeah, first album right after Pope Folks. <laughs> Having it left, I'd have, you know, I'd probably sign Rockefeller, you know, because um, yeah. I needed to be in New York with the movers and shakers who have seen Movie record deals. 
and, yeah. and the tastemakers and the money and the camera and already have an identity that would have been yeah. ideal if i'd have known yeah. i had to go this year you know i I'd, I'd did things a little different i'd have known about yeah. my public i'd have yeah. known about this deal makes this one and this is why we're doing this but i paid my oh, dues so oh, yeah. now I, i'm just walking down those tracks and then introducing cats to what they already you know had ran into so i think we're gonna have a great thing and you scan with your phone and you can light up the best strand i think that you're going to get your hands on what makes this a plus <laughs> now before i let you go you got you got a uh, you got something going on tomorrow night correct oh man we're in music city tomorrow night i mean Nashville, Tennessee, Nashville Music City. The first place, mm. the first place to play my record. Um, mm. so, so it's definitely an ongoing for me. My grandma's from Tennessee. My family okay. gonna be in the building. So it's just, it's just well oh. and done. Oh yeah. man, it's a long time coming. Yeah. yeah, it is. And you know, the fans that that know who you are knows how hard you worked over the years because again which y'all don't get the audience that y'all listening to this y'all that's listening to this this man wrote all the hits bro he's never really came out and bragged about it like everybody else would do he was a team player you understand yeah. what i'm saying day, we'll make the right play. We'll make yeah, the right play. that's it exactly but you you definitely paid your dues man over the years and all i could see is up from here because you doing a lot you're doing a lot. Pray for me, young black man. Already and, know. Uh, the new single man what I'm working on right now is Gray Hair. Really? Oh, Gray Hair. Ooh, look, okay, all right, all right. I see you. I see you. I see you. We no doubt. Right. You gotta, you know, you know. <laughs> Listen, do, do me a favor. I tell you what. Send that. When you get that, send that as well. Because what we'll do, we'll take one down and put that one in. We're going to need you on that one. This is going to be peaceful, dear gray hair. <laughs> Damn Google, come touch gray hair. Ooh, okay. I was Let's thinking. And, yeah. All right. All right we what? got you, bro. <laughs> we got you, man. I mean, this time I'm back. What's written in Bud? What's written in Bud? In Bud? What is that? Written in Bud. Written in Bud. A high How influence of medical marijuana written highly Ooh. influenced, wanting really? peace. So the, mm. the beats are definitely on high, high energy vibe, high energy, no you know, giving off great vibes. Got a song called All Night Long Ain't Long Enough. You, you remember how you were watching Donnie Simpson when you were 20 years old and you could put the fan All the in time. The and go to work and make love fight in the same night. In well, the same any, damn one night. Of those, yeah, any one of those actions will cause me a nap tonight. Mm. Was, yeah, <laughs> so all night long ain't long enough. But we eat them beef ribs or that jerk chicken and rice. Baby, you know, before I rub your feet, I'm going to need a nap. And then it's going to be I'm a need a nap. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I never thought of that. I like that. See, but that's the thing about you, bro. You are a dope ass writer, and the ideas. I think I don't even know your process, but do they just come to you, or something that's that's happening, like in reality? Yeah, and yeah it's it? like Ray Charles every moment. What mm. is it? Yeah, that's it. Hit the road, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But all my shit come to me like that. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of the songs I'm listening to is like real life stuff. Like yeah, we, we all can relate. The we all can relate. Good man. See? Have you ever seen the funeral of a good man? I think I did. Is wait a minute, a funeral of a good man? Uh, uh-uh, I don't think I've seen that. Oh man, I, I, that's the new single on my album, the Street Album, the Five Mike Mixtape. 
Everybody mm-hmm. calling the perfect slice of pie. You know, if really? like you know how they used to rate the rate the, the projects. Oh no but doubt. Everybody calling this and the one the more graceful. So oh, well, I yeah. need to get that. Oh man, I need to get don't that. take pictures. That's my dog. Have you ever seen the funeral of a good man? Make good mm. memories before you become one. Mm. Um, it's full of game, man. It's full of game. Yeah, I can I can believe that, man. And let me tell you something before I let you leave. I do want to ask you a question. Since you've Come been on. in this game, for, since you've been in this game for so long, name me three guys that you would like to make a collab with right now. Right now. From East Coast or just period? Oh, right East now. Coast, right? And three guys. East Coast, right now. I think the it doesn't matter. The dynamic, dynamic you would get from, say, uh, Buster Rhyme and Vito record. If I was going to go to East Coast, I, I think that'd be hot. Oh, definitely that. He's or, the first one I thought if of. Down, if I'm down in the South, how would you? I like to see hear CeeLo and Vito. Ooh, damn! Dungeon family and the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, to hear CeeLo and Vito. That's hot. And then, and then we go to West Coast. Um, I'd have a question. I would like to ask Snoop in the game. There if they had kids, could uh, could blood date Crip? Mm. Damn, that sounds like, like a song. That sounds like a song. That sounds like a song. Yeah, can blood date Crip? Could blood date Crip? Ooh. And how would you know that what be? I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm tag him on this video that we just did. Yeah. And I'm gonna take a clip. I'm gonna take that clip, and I'm gonna post it on social media, and I'm gonna tag his ass, him and the yeah. game. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Then, yeah, I, I would like to hear that song, Kim Blood Day Crip. Yeah, yeah, Blood I Day think that would be magic. Cool. You? Oh wow! If not, why? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to know on Ooh, record. You already got me what thinking. That would sound like. All right. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. So we ready to bring these kind I of think thoughts. Be high. I really do. I really think that'd yeah. be high. I, I definitely. Yeah, we definitely got to yeah. bring them back. We definitely got to bring them back. And I appreciate you coming to our show today. Um, this was our first show. We've been gone for a couple of months. We'll be back. And you was the first guest up here. I had to have you. You know what I'm saying? This conversation is crazy. But um, me, tell everybody. What's cool? Tell everybody what's going on. Tell everybody what's going on with you, and you know, give them, give them the. Right um, now I'm, I'm, I got the motion moving around. Shit moving around again. <laughs> we got motion. Uh, just, just again, back on the chitlin circuit. I'm, I'm hosting. Uh, I'm moving around. You know, if anything in working class enterprises. That we that we can do for anybody. We acting, producing records. Uh, we writing movies right now. I'm in the middle of shooting the dispensary at my dispensary, mm-hmm. and uh, so we we doing that right now. Still looking for scores and sync license. We got that kind of move movie music oh, that okay. changes lives. Um, like I said, we just branding and we're ready to really join another people that's moving. Thirty five and up, yeah, you know, so music. We on that grown folks day party kind of vibe. Did eleven o'clock done got too late, and uh, <laughs> so so a TV laying watches, you know, reefer smokers that wants to be our shoes off by seven o'clock. Um, <laughs> So definitely doing day parties, you know, acting my age um, and bringing soul mm-hmm. music back to the game. I get sleepy right after about two. So I'm wanting to go two to about six, a daytime party. We sit down and listen to this. You scan it. We taste it making sure your likings on all it our is. cannabis products. And that's what we're doing. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, man, I appreciate you coming through, man. I really do, y'all. And again, I was advertising you to come through, and 
it's been it's been dope because again, you are one of those guys that I was interested in interviewing because the backstory is crazy, and then the front story is even better because of all the things that you're doing over the last couple of years has been crazy. Man, you know, and, appreciate that, man. And you know the world is tomorrow. We're gonna run into each other again. And, and thank you for you sharing your platform. Of course, anytime, man. You you're welcome to come back. You know what I'm saying? I always have people come back. If you got a new single or something like that, bring it back. We play the video, whatever you want to do, you can come right back through. Yes, sir. And we're gonna be right there. Smoke something. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, I'm asking you a question. Uh oh, we at you know, we don't lost. We don't lost my man. He said, smoke something. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for coming to the 2111 radio show, y'all. I, th- I appreciate everybody for showing up. Our first show back. And, and um, our next show is Wednesday. We will have Hall of Fame heavyweight champion Riddick Bowl coming in, um, I think, Saturday. And we got Chef Lawrence coming in on Wednesday. Right. Chef Lawrence. And then we have Riddick Bowl coming in on Saturday. But um, again, thanks everybody for coming through. I think we lost my man um, Vito, but um, I appreciate everybody. Y'all have a good night. All right, peace.